Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Final Fantasy VII Remake on Hard Mode. So this is basically New Game Plus essentially in this game. Um, we had just beat the Scorpion boss in Chapter 1 and we are trying to escape now. So we got 20 minutes. Let's go. How's our health? Check when we get up here. Doing alright. Triple Slash is easily my most used skill, ability, whatever you call them. So good. Alright, let's save our girl Jessie. Coming for you, doll. Nice Jesse Cloud. She's a sweetheart. And I'll be damned if I let you talk to her that way. <laughs> he talks to everybody there that is. way. I've got you come! Find us a way out of here! But then Don't worry, I'll be fine. The bear doesn't have a spire right now, does he? That's <laughs> okay. We'll just have Cloud X smash these guys are dead. They're here! Let's see, I need to use this counter stance some more. Come on! Cool it. Five seconds is Running low on MP. There it is. Took a hot minute, didn't it? Yeah. 
Give me that MP. Cloud is level 41. Give me a break. Let's do this. I see. Damn, the ranged one fucking knocked me out of my uh, lock there. Okay, I need to get get out of fucking Punisher, damn it. Gotta be careful. That's so unnecessary. Who would ever need more than 20 minutes on this? Sir. I bet you Hell House is going to be really hard in this difficulty. <laughs> Can't tell if I'm scared or looking forward to it. Maybe a little bit of both. Got you, girl. If I couldn't, believe me, you'd be the first to know. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> okay, that was pretty you know, cool. Cloud is the victim of a lot of right, falling walkways. <laughs> A lot. Oh my god, that visual is so cool. Nice. Nice. Looks like we made it. And with nothing but a few scratches to show. <laughs> Think you might have overdone it? I followed the instructions to the letter. <laughs> Maybe it triggered a reaction with the Mako? Well, let's hope the city's still in one piece. 
But the planet's what matters, right? I mean, this must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down there. All right, then. Lead the way. You got it. Huh. Okay. Watch out for live wires. They're everywhere. Now, isn't there a way for us to... Is it only on chap... No, play log. This is our completion thing. So, battle intel reports will finish the last materia, and then the one after that will be the last summon, I'm assuming. Coliseum challenges, 10 out of 11. I wonder if there's a new Coliseum challenge? I don't know why we didn't finish those. Um, I did everything that I had access to, didn't I? Hmm. Maybe there's one that's available only in hard mode. Shinra combat simulations complete. There's a bunch of new ones in hard mode that we need to do. Odd jobs, 24 out of 26, because two of them are exclusive to doing... What is it? Um, we did Madam M's requests in Chapter 5. Is that Chapter 5? I don't even know. And then there's two other ones, two different ones in the other side. When you do uh, Chocobo Sam, is that his name? Yeah, I think so. Enemy intel, assessed. Wow, we're only halfway on the assess. Weapon abilities, 21 out of 24, almost done there. Enemy skills, there's only one left. I don't know what the last one is. There's only four. That's crazy. We're missing one music disc. Which I think you can actually see on the chapter select. It's in chapter 3. Okay. Is that true? Then why does Mad Chapter 4 have one as well? Oh, they're probably both when you're in the city you can get it. So, yeah. Okay. Should be good on that front. Cloud has three dresses. Tifa has three dresses. And Aerith has three dresses. Okay. Ugh. Let's go. The air in here reeks. Can't wait to get out in the open. Man, what is that? I've never smelled anything so foul. Oh, it's me. Gotta do something about that. And soon. As Tifa always says, man, I could use a shower. <laughs> I felt that one in my guts. They just keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? The primary explosive? The blasting agent? Hey, we can figure that out later. <sighs> I'm running on empty here. You can refuel at the base. Next time I'll have to bring a little pick-me-up. How much farther do we have to go? Not far. That's about as good a place as any. Stand back then. I'll set the bomb. Can't wait to see you, Marlene. Can't wait to take a hot shower. She's good to go. Those doors. Let that be a Let's lesson to anything that gets in my way. Attention, all citizens. Attention, all citizens. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Unidentified intruders have detonated a bomb inside Mako Reactor 1. Multiple explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fires. In response, a disaster warning has been issued sectors 1 and 8. Structures in the area are at high risk of collapse, rendering the entire sector hazardous. Therefore, all residents of sector 8... No. No way. This couldn't have been us, could it? But what if it was? What's done is done. <sighs> Merc's right. 
It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. This was just the first reactor, and the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. Yeah, we always knew this was gonna get messy. And this is only the beginning. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, cause I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears, your worries, your concerns, and yes, your fears. Whatever your problem, I got you. Huh. Hmm. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home! Hmm. Hmm. I want to make sure Cloud has a fire on him. For this chapter, you don't need that. You can put it on something else. Keep working on that for as long as we need to. Okay. Let's swap you to there, and actually we will continue using Magnify. And we'll use it with Fire. We've only got two Fires, huh? I might buy another one, work on a third. Barrett, by the end of this game, you're gonna soften up on me. I just know it. <laughs> Will this give me a new one? Probably not, but maybe. I don't need to tell you what this is, right? Of course not. It's healing material. You can have it for saving my life. Just doing my job, nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. Explosion in the background. Lovely. Survival can be a matter of luck or skill. And you can't rely on luck. Words to live by. Uh, yeah, well, thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know what I was, right? <laughs> okay, I was only trying to help. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something extra for being so brave. That really was the ride of a lifetime. Well, see you on the train. Thank you, girl. Isn't she great? Cloud! I'm here! Look up! I said look up! I saw this somewhere. Now. There has to be another way. Not that way. Right. What? Which way? What? Where? Where? Huh? You doing this on purpose? I'm on top of the rubble. You doing this on purpose? Oh, that's funny. Careful up here. This could collapse at any moment. If you want up, you'll have to use those stairs. I saw that in a video somewhere, so I had to do it. <laughs> Are you doing this on purpose? Actually, yes. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, this is where we get our first kind of interesting little big change that's gonna happen. Station's intact. Good thing Jesse cleared that before that dropped, huh? What the? does make him incredibly menacing, doesn't it? God. Wow. So this is the first time Sephiroth is really messing with us here. So, supposing that he is but then from the past, right, some other timeline, the timeline of the original game and Advent Children, he knows that he basically failed, right? And with that knowledge, if he is here with that knowledge, he is trying to change this timeline so that he can win. Right? So he needs to defeat Fate. So this is his first time trying to change the timeline. Because he's trying to keep us from being where we need to be. Which in the original game is what exactly? Meeting Aerith. So just keep that in mind. Right now he's just distracting us. Wait. You're not real. You're dead. I am. Um... I killed you with my own. <gasps> oh, you need not remind me. <laughs> it was the crowning moment of our time together. But that was then, and this is now. I have a favor to ask. Our beloved planet is dying. Slowly. Silently. Painfully. Can you bear to see the planet suffer? Cloud. Were the planet to die, so many things would be lost. Your hometown burns so bright. The sound of her voice, pleading for me to spare you. The shiver of her flesh, Yielding to cold steel. That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world, which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry, it's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. <laughs> You have to leave. You have to live. He is a master manipulator. You so you have to yeah. think that everything he does in the game is for his own benefit and his own means. Good, Cloud. Very good. Hold on to that hatred. I'm seeing things. Fumes from all the Mako, maybe. <laughs> Alright. You got this. You got this. Uh, 
Okay. So, normally, we would have run into Eris by now, right? And yes, I did just say Eris, and I am aware. <laughs> that one will slip out sometimes. <laughs> Okay. So, we would have normally run into Eris by now, as she was leaving, but now, she's being held here. By fate. Fate is keeping her here. The first time we ever see these things, they are keeping her here so that Cloud and Aerith can still meet. Because Sephiroth tried to stop us from meeting her like we normally would have. Now the question with something like this is I have to ask myself at you the end of the game to save anyone. How much control does Sephiroth have over fate? Okay? In the last fight it seems like he may have control, but that's in uh, That's in the uh what do they call it? The Shit, I can't Here, think of the name. This is for you. Huh? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know, for scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just my luck. I heard that, you know. Okay. So I'm going to be doing choices on this one. In the last run through, we did choices that were for Eris. In this run through, we are going to be making choices that gear us towards Tifa. So, I'm just going to say I'm good. Don't need it. I'm good. <laughs> oh, don't be like that. I know you want one. I do. When I love you, girl. You saw a real flower, huh? Aerith is so great in this game. Plus, it'll make your girlfriend's day. I guarantee it. How much? <laughs> well, that depends on the customer. In your case, <laughs> it's on the house. Don't be stupid. Enough already. I'll give you two gill for it. Two measly gill for a real <laughs> flower? Come Cheapskate. on. Cheapskate. Five then. Please, that's not nearly enough. Besides, I clearly said it was on the. <laughs> <sighs> Awkward. You're trying to get rid of me for five lousy gill. <laughs> this is kind of cute in its own right. Sorry, but your plan won't work. Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to sell f I mean, there have been some hints that maybe Sephiroth does gain some control over fate at points in this game. Um, it seems like they definitely are helping us at certain points, but if Sephiroth is guiding us down the path that he wants and he had control of fate, there would be points where he would help us, right? So those are the two things that I've kind of been toying around with, is whether or not Fate is independent of Sephiroth, whether Sephiroth is kind of using Fate to his advantage, um, while Fate actually exists, and then destroying it so that he has more control later on, I don't know, but I'm toying around with a lot of different ideas here. And 
I'm not really sure if Sephiroth has any control over fate or not. Wait. I'm kind of leaning towards not, and that this fate thing is just that. Fate trying to make sure that things happen the way they're supposed to. Sword on the ground! Right now! Not gonna happen, buddy. But who knows, maybe we'll come to more solid conclusions as we go. This is gonna hurt. Burn! <laughs> oh, that felt good. Alright, we'll go down here, then we'll go backwards to get that materia and fight those other guys. Now we'll move forward. Feels good. So yeah, I think that they're pretty much independent. For that reason that, that uh, Sephiroth seemed to be kind of like guiding us away from her, and then they held her here so that we could still meet. So, I don't know, that seems to make the most sense, doesn't it? HQ, this is Sector 8, Unit 4. We have eyes on the target. We burn. Right. Nothing to it. First strike improved. I like that. All clear. Kill. Time to burn. Let's do this. Bitch. Provide immediate support. 
Alright. I don't think I'm gonna bother running around getting items and boxes and stuff here. But the rooftops look clear. I mean, these items are things we can't even use, so. <laughs> Over there! Open fire! Shoot to kill! Okay, 82 MP. We're doing okay on that front. I see him! Was never in doubt. Confirmed! Target has entered residential area! Full lockdown is in effect! All in it! And you're mine now! Not bad. Time to burn. Let's go. Never stood a chance. Get the bastard. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> no escape. All of them? I think that's all of them. Enemy combatants, you have been warned! Not Surrender so yourself to public security immediately! You are the way you run! Let's do this. Let's finish this. It's over. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, we got plenty of MP. That's good, because we're about to go into a kind of a, a bit of a boss fight. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this too. Trust me when I say that. Okay, those guys are grenadiers behind me, so I may start with them. Well, let's hit you. No Then let's hit you. Burn. No escape. Oh, don't stun lock me. Infinity and will uh, go through that. Sorry. Not really. Okay. Right. 
Oh wow, okay. Try me. Oh, I tried to roll back at exactly the wrong time. Time. I think we got it. Boom! Enough. Boom! Oh, Feels good. Art of sword play. Cool. HQ More SD. Moving to secure. Wait! I know that. Kunzler? <laughs> Isn't that the guy's name? I need to play Crisis Core. I've actually never played Crisis Core because it's not available. So, but I could try and play it on an emulator since, you know, they won't re-release the damn thing on anything other than the PSP, which is impossible to get now. It's really frustrating. Like, it's not even available to play on the Vita, which most PSP games are. Well, maybe Just not most, but a lot. Joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. <sighs> Hmm. You think he's a keeper? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Giving public security the runaround. That's what. Look at him I playing cool. Away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> Wait. Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. You're not making any damn a sense, A new weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? Look at us. We've got a crowd. So after I beat a game, I generally go and watch, like, a bunch of, like, reviews and, like, uh, spoiler discussions and, like, uh, things like that. Uh, because I won't watch them while I'm playing the game because I don't want anything to get spoiled. And uh, one of the other things that I did is uh, I heard that there were lots of things that I didn't want to see in the final trailer of this game. So I went and watched that. And people... Wait a minute. Kyrie! Um, hey girl! It's Kyrie! Hi! How you doing? Ha! <laughs> That's fun. Hey, got a sec? Sure. You're, uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8? I'm a soldier. Wow. My hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. Or maybe not. Yeah, you don't want to look forward to it. Um, but yeah. I watched that final trailer. They spoiled Just way too sick. much in that thing. You, you, people were not kidding. I am so glad I did not watch that trailer. They even had the line where they said what the whispers were from Red 13. It blew my mind. S like, what? Really and they dead. even showed Sephiroth stabbing Barrett. Are they insane? Like, Didn't what are they thinking? The <laughs> I could not believe it. I can't wait to set foot on the little help cloud, please. I can't stop Don't thinking about it. The bomb I made yeah. shouldn't have produced an explosion that too. big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. 
You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor, reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Sure sector seven is effective too. You mentioned oh, invisible sure. enemies back happen. there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. You know, I thought for sure really? I was going to run into this guy the in the uh, Shinra to Tower. The was he there anywhere and I just missed it? They won't do? Hey, quit talking <laughs> out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Just who do you think you are? A law-abiding, concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's profiling. It doesn't matter if she's right. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear, y'all's masters. We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. <laughs> that is the Shinra Creed. <laughs> yeah, they're all gonna need a new pair of underwear. What we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> Just look at the lighting while we go through this train. Oh dear. I love this game. Man, this train is slower than molasses, am I right? You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. We're the good guys, damn it. You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. Jesse? In this playthrough, I'm gonna see if I can get that kiss from you. Let's get this Just saying. Way. Personally, I, I think she gives you a kiss on the cheek if you do well enough uh, during the uh, bike helps, section. Think of it as an initiation rite. How many and times I'm gonna do get I have it. to tell you people? I'm not... I might not get it, but I There's such get a it. thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level, atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID <laughs> checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What I tell you, have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust. The air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> That's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, it's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know? This 
train, I suppose. There's only one way it can go. There we go. Chapter 2 is done on hard. Feels good. One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Ah. Ah. Hm. Now get some r, r You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. All right. We're going to go ahead and end this episode right here. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.